Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL Hustle League round of 32. Did I update the score? Yes, I did update the score, but you get a black screen anyway because I had to alt tab to do it. Sorry about that. Tucson starting in the upper right hand corner as the Brown Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we got Raj starting as the Purple Protoss. This is going to be on Citadel, which if Raj wanted to go for a 12 Nexus, this is a much better map to attempt that on. Although, I will say Tucson has shown that against 12 Nexus, he's currently 2-0. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out. I will say uh, this is best of seven, by the way. Two game lead for Tucson overall. But right now, Tucson in firm control of this series. We'll see if there's a reverse sweep from Raj overall. Pylon next to the Vespine Geyser, which suggests maybe a little bit more. Usually if you're going for the 12 Nexus, you plopped it. You plop it down. I want to see, honestly, from Tucson, what would be kind of clever is the reverse. Since Citadel is a huge map, going for the reverse uh, 14 Command Center or going for maybe even uh, Barracks, Gasless uh, Barracks into expansion himself. In the meantime, Raj does have that initial gateway being built. Tucson... The, uh, usually that's not his style of play though. Usually he does kind of go for the safe and I think he likes going for that let's go into initial factory play and adjust our, our uh, game from there. But I will say Citadel it'll be a big test of his abilities because you have a much larger wide open field and if you're talking about A moving, Raj is very good at engaging from multiple angles and if he's going for that gateway man macro, heavy macro mid-game style, this map might be a little bit more lent towards it. If it starts moving towards the mid-game. That being said, it could be a macro versus macro battle. And it's a little harder for, I would argue, it's a little harder for Tucson to secure a third. The thirds are a little bit more exposed for Terran, in my opinion, on this map. So this could be the map for Raj where he's just able to have that brutal Protoss macro lead him to a victory. Precautionary Zealot. Probe cycling back around, initially going to upper right. And unfortunately, he saw the SCV path, so I'm a little bit surprised he's opting to change direction. Instead, it looks like he's going to check bottom left. So maybe mind gaming himself right here, SCV blockading. We do have a factory going up. And a single SCV on gas behind this. So I'm expecting just the three marine, especially seeing this initial zealot, the three marine standard play, but. Ugh, sneeze commentary. Bless me. Uh, Raj delaying on range. And I don't know if this is a mind game. Now starting range. I don't know if that was a mind game or not. But first Dragoon now going to be out. Marines on the front. There is going to be a defensive bunker built. Raj bring his. So, it looks like he's going to scout top right just with the Zealot and the Dragoon. This probe being brought back. And just counting that it wasn't... Presuming it wasn't a cross-map position scout here. Did he get the SCV? No, the SCV is still alive. So, moving forward position, by the way. And dropping that Nexus, giving information to Tucson thus far. And hoping he was going to be able to capitalize on it by getting a run by, I presume. Yeah, so just going to run by. Zealot eating a lot of the initial damage. And now it's a Dragoon and a Zealot versus these Marines, which is winning. It's going to be frustrating. Certainly going to delay the command center. A lot of SCVs, however, pulling off the line, blockading this in. One SCV down. But that's an easy trade. Does the Dragoon win this at this stage? Not with the Marine. Yeah, with the Marines getting kind of boxed out here. So at least all three Marines are going to die. Well, just kidding. So, additional frustration and delay. Another Marine produced. Was that the same Marine? No, this Marine walked into the bunker. So, this Dragoon, a hero now. Finally, the siege tank out. Gonna be able to clean this up. But a lot of delay on that command center. And a good amount of SCVs wiped out as well. Tucson did back out that SCV to the 6 o'clock location to see if there's a, a quick scout turnaround. He is gonna be able to get some follow-up information. So, we'll see if it's worth the trade. Two gate robo is the follow up. Range finished. And SCV with that Dragoon not hold positioning on the ramp is going to be able to make his way in. 
So yeah, gets an eyeful, sees the two gate and the robotics. That is actually significant. And see how Tucson decides to respond. He's currently going one factory into armory, which provides... If he wants to go for a quick plus one weapons, he could, he could go for that plus one weapons around seven minute factory timing. This is going to give him pretty quick upgrades. And this is looking a little bit like upgrade Terran. But I am skeptical because that's just not something Terrans are doing these days, including Tucson. Usually it's more four fact, five fact in the mid game to open up the third. Robotic support bay before observatory here. We do have a worker already staging out at the six o'clock location to get a quick third nexus up. And I'm curious if it's gonna, if the nexus is gonna end up before the the uh, reaver, it's gonna be reaver before nexus. I think it's gonna be reaver before nexus because this was a queued up shuttle. There's the reaver. In the meantime, second gas plopping down for Tucson, second factory. Goliath range upgrading. Academy as well to get the eyes and plus one weapons. About a third finished. Econom uh, economically, I would say this is just about even. The timing of the third base is going to be kind of the interesting part of it. Rod being really, really careful, continuously dropping pylons as far as additional supply. So it looks like he does want to keep, and rather than pausing, he does want to keep pumping units out of these gateways. Rather than just doing a quick cut in a third nexus. And a barracks going ahead and blockading in the meantime, it's a wide swath of dragoons to absorb potential vulture play. The zealot scooped up alongside that reaver. Speed also upgraded. The pylons are in place. Now there's going to be that mineral surplus to get that six o'clock nexus up. Shuttle making its way top right, but we already have three vultures, or three vultures, three Goliaths. This is going to be before that range upgrade, so there is going to be a little bit of opportunity for this shuttle. And maybe some micro play, but it's going to be a challenge. Starport is going to be spotted, which should be an indication to Raj that it is in fact going to be plus two weapon upgrade play. Goliaths escorting that shuttle back. So Raj should feel a little bit more comfortable upon spotting that Starport and grabbing maybe an early fourth even, especially because he was able to escort that shuttle out, didn't lose it, so still has it in forward field to slow down potential press. But we do have four factories up and a second machine shop in the midst of this. An observer is making its way to the front as well. Just to confirm, shuttle kind of making its way that direction. Six o'clock base just about up. Few additional gateways getting tacked on. And I will be interested to see whether it's four gateways into a fourth nexus, kind of a greedy economic play, or if Raj is going to go for a gateway flood off the three bases to try to play it that direction. Mines and Vulture Speed now getting upgraded. 12 o'clock base. We have the shuttle, but the Goliath right there. The Reaver lands. The shuttle's still alive somehow. It looks like it got, got distracted by that Zealot. And that was honestly a little bit of mercy. That Zealot able to distract the Goliath. That could have been a dead shuttle. At which point it would have been a lot easier for Tucson to bully his way either to a third or towards a follow-up attack. Starport finished. Plus one weapons finished. Plus one ar armor now upgrading. I don't see the second armory. But we do see the science facility in place. There's a second armory. Six o'clock base getting saturated from Raj. And the Dragoon's starting to pile forward. About a 20 supply lead, which is right about where Raj wants to be at. Here, this is kind of one of those interesting positions. And this is the aspect, the aspect of the new meta where I'm not sure how it plays out. And I don't think the players know how it plays out exactly yet either. Where Protoss encroaches a little bit to try to stop a push or slow down a push. The four or five factories do provide a lot of troops in between, and this is usually more movement to kind of bully forward to secure a third, which is challenging on this map. The Reaver scooping up and backing up. The Goliath leading forward to maybe 
intercept that. The Observer not getting picked off somehow in the midst. Glyde taking a shot to the face. And so look for Tucson to position a little bit for it looks like he's going to repair it. He's not in a rush here. Just wants to get a little bit of forward momentum. Raj has a, another shuttle, it looks like, already at the 3 o'clock position. Let's see if he goes ahead and grabs that base. Tucson crawling forward, trying to establish the turret lines. Previously, we have seen Raj A move into this. I don't think he's going to do that this time. Although he is moving forward with another grouping of Dragoons. I think he just wants to try to frustrate any sort of movement to grab an additional base. I don't see a command center floating out here in the meantime. So I think this is going to be an attempted on-ground take here for Tucson. Making his way a little bit towards the mineral only right this second. But he's kind of positioning to crawl out towards that 12 o'clock. And this is where I stated in the earlier stages. You can see where there's multiple attack angles here from Raj. The Dragoon's going to be able to get a couple Vultures for free here while they're walking their way out. But Tucson is going to be able to press forward with the rest of this attack fleet. I've not seen the shuttle sweep in. This is oftentimes where you'll see a shuttle sweep in to try to get a shot off on those siege tanks. The siege tanks without a lot of Vulture protection are going to move their way back though. Feeling a little bit naked as far as potential additional pressure. No fourth base grab yet from Raj. But at the same time, no third base grab yet. So we got the command center building, which leads me to believe it's going to be a float out here for Tucson. Sudden supply lead now for Raj. He's done a good job of creating some delays macro behind this. Hasn't taken a lot of losses. I think he's being a little bit more careful with his engagements here. And you can see the frustration on this map now for Tucson, where it's been a little bit more challenging to, to step forward and establish a foothold where he feels comfortable grabbing a third base. In the meantime, the Army count has grown underneath this. Looks like it's still going to be primarily factory units. We do have Templar Arch or Citadel of Adun up. I don't see the Templar Archives out as of yet. So still going to be Gateway Man style. Tucson floating out, tacking on, going up to the 8 factory count. So just presuming that he's going to be able to get this base up. But we have a shuttle nearby. A lot of Dragoons. Let's see if he's able to, if he's got enough to go ahead and press out of this. The Observer getting pushed back, but saw a lot of that troop movement forward. The Command Center just waiting. And this has got to be uncomfortable for Tucson. He sees those units to the north. He sees the units to the south. And is having to be very, very careful about this engagement. And the Reaver just waiting to get a free pot shot off. Huge surge of supply behind this from Raj. Doing a great job of back rowing. Big shot on that forward siege tank. Not a lot of zealots to storm in here, but they're, it's not an insignificant number. And once he sees this command center float forward, let's see if he goes for it. Dragoon's positioning forward to press that minefield back. There's the command center, but it looks like Raj feels comfortable enough. I, I think he feels comfortable enough with the supply he's got, where he's just going to go ahead and grab a fourth bottom left-hand corner. He's really delayed this command center quite a bit, just through some latent positioning. So now seeing that base up, he's got to go ahead and grab an additional. Now we have additional zealots moving up, and here we go. Now Raj moving. I was expecting this a half minute ago. The shuttle able to get right amidst the siege tanks. It's taken out pretty rapidly, but the zealots all the way on top of the siege lines here. And a nice flood forward movement. And that command center is going to get wiped out. Big win for Raj. Is he going to get the siege tanks underneath? Might want to back up with what he's got. Cleared out a lot of his own supply for the effort, but certainly worth it. Trying to press in and hold that high line while those, while those tanks are not sieged. Let's see if the reinforcements are able to clear everything else out. Yeah, Marines pulling out of the bunker. Tend out press into this. The command center is going to have to be built on the low ground. One problem here for Raj, though, is, yeah, that was a big base stoppage. But at the same time, he hasn't grabbed any additional territory. He's not grabbed bottom left or the 3 o'clock location behind this. And his main is starting to, to flag a bit. So Tucson saying, okay, I think you dedicated a little bit too much with that troop reset. Now pressing forward, or actually, I'm going to say this is more... Uh, with this late a third, I am concerned about my position. Let's see if I can take out one of your bases. 
I'll just grab this and then you gotta come to me and maybe I take out a base of yours. And that's... Uh, don't want to fall too far behind in this match play is what I think this is. A couple vultures gonna find the dragoons that are waiting. And Raj, yeah, doesn't look like he was able to re-macro enough to stop this. If his troops were on top of this, that would be victory. But let's see if where he decides to place this attack. Is he just going to sacrifice the 6 o'clock and go for a counterattack at the natural? Looks like right now he's just watching this base drop. Worker's getting obliterated. Grabbing the 3 o'clock in the meantime underneath this. But this is a huge win for Tucson as far as the turnaround. Because he's able to wipe out a, a big mining base. A fresh base for Raj. And that command center is being built. And he might be able to sweep back the troops to that mineral only to keep that base alive. Raj still, I think, is in an okay position here because if he can get that three o'clock nexus up, but it comes down to him wiping out the overextension from Tucson before the reinforcements come back. Zealots dropping on top of that siege tank line underneath. The Zealots streaming forward. Now the reinforcements making their way back. This feels a little bit le uh, late. They're gonna get cut off by Raj's reinforcements. Raj, unfortunately, he needs to focus fire those siege tanks down does force another cancellation so it's going to be a big victory once again so now even though he lost that six o'clock base as long as he gets this three o'clock base up and mining potentially he'll be okay still holding that supply lead and again tucson with that army reset raj also it looks like he's got a pretty solid bank behind this needs to get that worker count back up though so able to punish tucson for overextendings two siege tanks here bottom left will be able to stop a Nexus, potentially. Nexus just now dropping. A couple Zealots making their way that direction should be able to hold it. That 3 o'clock base is up. Some pylons dropping as well. Looks like a Vulture is going to be able to hold this. And this is turning into a, a really threadbare mid-game for both players. Emergency gateway for Tucson. Or sorry, for Raj. Continuing to spot forward, we have a command center being built outside of the 12 o'clock location to try to provide more defense to at least get it up and running. Three o'clock base looks like it's saturated, so this is going to be two base versus two base, but the main is just about mined out for Tucson. And that's a fresh base up for Rod. Rod swiping through the lines. And you can see we're having that big open middle space is making it very, very challenging for Tucson to establish additional territory. That gateway, however, going to be wiped out bottom left. And this is turning into an absolute slugfest. Both players getting absolutely hindered on resources both directions. It's hurting Tucson more at this stage. However, than Raj, Tucson mined out now. His natural expansion is gone. His, natural, his bane is just about mined out. Pretty soon he's going to have very few minerals to his name. And he's down on supply. Raj, in the meantime, is still mining at the 3 o'clock base. Natural expansion is going to be gone. So if Raj is able to absorb this... Looks like he's going to drop another Nexus underneath this. If he's able to absorb this fleet of vultures here... Ooh, the probe's going to get caught, though. Probe's getting annihilated. This is going to be a close one. Both directions. Command center could get lifted off. Another one's been built in place, but this could get lifted off and moved to the 12 o'clock potentially. Siege tanks moving back to go ahead and deny that interior nexus. A lot of mines without the observer support wiping out some of the reinforcements as they're trying to defend this. Nexus is canceled, but as things stand, Raj is mining and Tucson is not. Or he is, but barely. With that last engagement, supply a little bit more in Tucson's favor. He's trying to shove through. Actually, take that back. So deduct 20 workers here. The Vulture's able to punch in and start hammering the anemic probe numbers. So even though Raj has a mining base, he can't keep workers alive to make it work. So Tucson staying in this. So Tucson not mining, but and Raj theoretically mining, but not, not very successfully. And now a larger siege tank reinforcement line able to hold that mineral only. And did Tucson do it? 
through some very clutch endgame play here. Tucson now mining at the mineral only. He's got a sizable worker lead. He can float off that natural to the 12 o'clock potentially. And Raj is at one base versus one base, which is usually Terran favored. He's got another worker out to go ahead and potentially grab that mineral, that mineral only. Saying potentially a lot for some reason this game. What's a good word? What's a good replacement word for potentially? We have distance mining at the 12 o'clock, by the way. Raj again shoving in, recognizing now before it was to get ahead. Now this is a necessity. A few zealots able to get to the siege tank lines, more pressing through. We do have a high templar that's dropped. Good side storm on the high lines, and never mind. Where I thought Tucson was in a good position here, Raj able to press through and wipe everything out with an absolute iron fist attack here. Now getting some vengeance and wiping out those SCVs, that command center at risk, the worker count even. The 12 o'clock base is mining though. Is that going to get spotted? It looks like the shuttle going to spot that. High Templar are going to do his best to mitigate mining. And the Dragoon should easily be able to reposition there. They could probably sacrifice. Might be worthwhile to sacrifice across that minefield to stop that mining. Another Nexus nearly built, or maybe send the Archons up. It looks like <laughs> they're going to shuttle the Dragoons in here to the 12 o'clock. So it's going to be SCVs needing to defend themselves. And it looks like they are going to do so. Are we going to see some cute shuttle micro? It looks like not. Go SCVs, go. Come on. Love seeing the, the battle SCVs in the field. But their numbers are plummeting. And this is, again, delayed mining for Tucson. Siege tanks moving in. They're going to be able to clear it up behind that siege tank line. I don't know who to call it at this stage. Tucson, half the supply of Raj. Raj has a 3 o'clock base mining, however. Never mind. Looking at the supply counts, I think Raj in a much better situation. He's got that Nexus coming up at the third, or sorry, at the mineral only as well. So Tucson's got a base working at least for him. Let's see if some more Psy Storm puts the nail in the coffin here. Raj at double the supply, which is at 94, which is not usually the Protoss count you see at the 22 minute mark. Also, a sneaky probe has managed to make its way bottom left. The vultures are finding some pay dirt here against the probe lines. The Dragoon's having to briefly think about peeling back. So we got two siege tanks, a zealot drop with the follow-up side storm is on the menu here. And it, these are workers that Tucson cannot afford to lose here. And a siege tank also going down as a bonus. Looks like the vultures were mostly cleaned up. Near the mineral only, they're getting pushed back right this second. Raj able to find his footing again. We're back to two base versus one base. Although with a 50 supply lead now for Raj. And some Archons making their way across. They're going to go ahead and absorb some tank shots, but also clear that minefield. High Templar getting picked off underneath. Good siege tank spread for Tucson. And some good mine coverage as well. But it looks like this is just a little bit too much. That siege tank is over the wall. It's not at a distance from... And the, yeah, the SCV is going to try to plug that gap to hold this. Nearly got a mine dragged into them. And Raj, with just a little bit of an attack force, going to be able to end it. 15 supply left for Tucson at the end of this. Crazy match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Raj now on the board. Thanks for listening.